Is my husband, 30 male, financially abusing me, 29 female? I'm not sure if I'm being financially abused. We have a one and three year old and haven't worked since my eldest was born. So we've been on my husband's income. It's been hard but I feel like we've made it work. Within the past year I feel like he has changed when it comes to finances. He makes approximately $4,700 a month. He obviously pays all the bills. After everything is paid we have $600 left over. He allots $200 for free spending, $100 for me, $100 for him. However, my $100 is shared with our two kids so I feel like I'm never given enough. I have clothes, shoes, etc. to buy and he gets upset if I tell him I need more money for that. Recently, I started donating plasma to have extra money. I wanted to put my daughter in preschool and dance and that totals $130 a month. I also wanted to buy a zoo pass which is $127 for a year. And a museum pass for the kids for Christmas which is $200 a year. He told me all of that better not come out of the savings account. But then he goes and takes $600 out of savings to buy a quarter of a cow. He doesn't even consult me, just tells me he's going to do it. I also sold some precious jewelry last month to pay for the car's emissions and state registration because we didn't have enough money in the budget for it. I also sold my headphones to pay for stuff we needed at Costco. All financial decisions are decided by him. I may have an opinion, but they are usually vetoed. He gets a bonus twice a year and doesn't share it with me. He has a separate bank account just for him that he puts that in and he gets to decide what to do with it. I told him that's not fair, he wouldn't get all this without me and he pretty much brushes me off. My grandpa usually once a year sends a random $1,000 check that I always share. I just have been thinking lately that he is getting financially abusive. He told me yesterday he wants to get a second job so he can save up and buy himself a truck. Not a family car, a truck. Meanwhile, my car overheats constantly and we could use a newer family car. To disclose, we haven't always kept to the budget. The past two months I decided to really get on board because I could see finances were burdening him and we were spending more than he made so I wanted to be a team and do this together. But the months that I didn't follow the budget, he would also spend a lot of money and say because I didn't follow the budget, he didn't have to either and blame me for the whole thing. Pretty much I get so much anxiety anytime I have to spend money and feel like I have to ask permission to spend money. ETA the reason I don't have a job is because we both decided that staying home is best. We have made it over three years on one income and it's been going fine until recently when I have noticed this behavior. Also, my youngest just recently stopped breastfeeding and he absolutely refused a bottle his first year of life. Anyways, I also struggle with paying for childcare and it being as expensive as what my income would be. Yes, I hear you when you say that it won't always be a set pay, you'll get bonuses and pay raises. But I will be completely honest, I do like being a SOM. I love staying home and seeing my babies all the time and am extremely grateful to my spouse for allowing this. I have expressed this to him many times. But his recent behavior on finances have become alarming and making me reconsider a lot of things. Sounds like you need to get a job honestly. $4,700 per month is not enough for a family of four if he wants to get a second job for a truck but you need a new car then you need to do what you have to do in order to make sure you have proper transportation. Silly question why don't you get a job? Wouldn't that alleviate this mess? Yes he is it's kind of not really spelled out by the way you present it but your significant other is presenting the children's costs as yours, which is an incredible double standard and a bit of mental gymnastics that send one's head reeling. At the moment you and not only vulnerable and relying on him, he also reaps the benefits of family life with, sorry to put it bluntly, discount prices by leaving you struggling and even having to sell items, even your own blood products, to make ends meet. Yes, he is financially abusing you. You lost me at truck. Trucks are absolutely terrible purchasing decisions. They don't serve a any purpose well. They fail on every metric, especially as an urban family vehicle. Yes it sounds like he is financially abusing you. But also he might just be kinda dim. My, 31 female, husband, 38 male, penetrated me in my sleep. Edit. Some people are getting hung up on the, as long as it doesn't bother me, statement and me mentioning reading or being on my phone. For clarification, if I'm reading a book or on my phone and my husband initiates sex by starting with foreplay it doesn't bother me. I'm okay with that. I am not on my phone or reading a book during sex. 
As the title says, this just happened so excuse me if I'm frantic and or unorganized. Also on mobile so please excuse any errors. I was just sleeping. Literally, after struggling to get our baby to sleep. She's going through a phase where she only sleeps a little then wakes up crying badly. And I felt myself being entered. I immediately straightened my body and moved my hips forward to try to force him out only for him to grab my hip. I was laying on my side, and try to stop me and keep himself in. I ended up getting him out and he was still grabbing at my panties, trying to slide them down despite me moving his hands away and obviously not being okay with what's going on. I even asked him what the fuck and told him I wasn't okay with what he did and mentioned how we had sex earlier in the day only for him to say, you told me you didn't care what I did as long as it didn't bother you. Excuse me, what? How is penetrating someone in their sleep not bothering them? Before bed I gave no indication that I wanted to have sex. I never said wake me for sex or anything pertaining to sex so I dk how he'd come to this conclusion. I do remember in the past allowing sex while I was reading a book or on my phone which is what I was referring to about, bothering me, but never while I was sleeping have I been okay with being penetrated. I physically got out of the bed, grabbing the baby and heading towards the door to leave because I felt so violated and afraid to go back to sleep only for him to block the door and not let me leave. I asked to leave the room and again explained how what he did wasn't okay. I feel like I was raped only for him to say he's my husband like that's gives it a pass to do what he did and I was, overreacting. I didn't back down and said it doesn't matter because husbands can still rape their wives. He then tries to double down, referencing the earlier statements until finally saying fine and if I ever want to have sex again, I just have to ask because he won't, initiate, anymore. He then tells me to get back in bed so we can go to sleep. Guys, I dk what to do, I'm afraid to sleep, my stomach is churning to where I want to throw up and my body is like, I dk, zeroing in, on the spot I was violated. I'm currently sitting on the floor of my room with my baby in my lap, rocking her to sleep. Any advice on how to move forward would be appreciated. Your husband raped you. You probably need to have some serious considerations about the future of the relationship and whether you want to involve the police. Please talk to women's aid or a similar charity. You were raped. Rape within the marriage can 100% happen and it did. Honey, I'm so sorry about this situation. There is no coming back from that. He seems manipulative and abusive, especially considering he wouldn't let you leave. That, and, he tried to deflect this behavior by saying, he wouldn't initiate anymore. Initiating is asking for consent. He did not ask for consent while you were asleep. I can only see this situation get worse. So please for the safety of yourself and your baby get out. This is called marital rape. I don't know how men think it is okay to penetrate someone in their sleep. Yeah, you were raped. There's no question. First things first, please find somewhere you can be for your safety while you figure out what to do next. Oh honey, I am so sorry. What he did was absolutely rape and it's not okay. What concerns me is that he doesn't think it was, which means he'll do it again. Don't let him normalize it. My, M24, GF, F20, broke up and slept with a mutual friend, M20. What should I do? So my girlfriend broke up with me and shortly after she slept with a mutual friend. The problem in this situation is that this guy knew about the whole relationship problems for like six malians. Like since the beginning where my girlfriend and me met this guy. We have a long distance relationship and we had a few communication issues the last months. I saw those two like almost every evening playing games but I accepted it because she told me after she moved to a new city to study there that she was really happy to have a real friend there because he also lived there. So we both acknowledge him as a good friend but I see them playing almost every night. I didn't want to make my girlfriend unhappy and take a friend away, so I didn't say that it makes me uncomfortable. So this guy saw my messages of having issues that I don't know what my girlfriend is thinking and how she feels about me and he always said stuff like, IDK. Or, she didn't forget you. So two weeks ago she broke up with me, I was shattered but I could deal with it. A week after she called me drunk ranted a bit about me and told me that I should be angry because she slept with someone. I said it's okay because she broke up with me. Some days later I found out that it was this guy. My heart imploded I felt all the pain. They both told me that they feel bad about it and that they both don't have any feelings and won't engage a relationship. The reason why I am so devastated is that it feels like that this guy just had intentions knew we had problems and waited for his opportunity created sexual tensions and used a emotionally damaged girl after a breakup. 
She also felt bad about the breakup even though she initiated it and she wanted to stay friends because of the relationship we had. Have. I hate this guy with all my guts and I don't know what would happen if we would meet up. But I don't have any grudge against my ex because she was in emotionally bad position and needed a friend to speak I guess. What should I do? I am moving to their city in two months because of work and because at the point where I planned it we were still together and I wanted to help our relationship and would have made me so much happier. Should I keep being friends with her because she is insanely important to me and she also told me that I am one of her most important people, so she told me and I believe her. Advice on how to go on with this. I already deleted the guy on every platform and told my ex that I think that he used her and is an egoistical piece of shit. Edit. They both told me that there were no feelings while I was still with my GF. I believe my ex, I don't believe the guy. Ghost her. Even though you guys were broken up she slept with a friend. Of all the people she could have slept with she chose him. To me that indicates they were involved before the break up and it's a scummy thing to do in general. If you were important to her she'd never have done that. Your ex is not some victim in need of emotional support. She dumped you and ran to him. Don't excuse her behavior and put all the blame on him. Oh my god. You can't be this naive. Move on and go no contact. This is embarrassing. Bro. Why? What possible benefit do you get out of this toxic mess except some misguided belief that you're somehow a better person? No contact. Start your life over, and tell that dude that if he ever shows his face around you that you will not hesitate to put him on the ground. Dude did you dirty, waited for his moment and took it. Your girl is no better. She knew you had issues with this guy during her relationship and turned around and had sex with him first chance she got. No respect for you at all. Don't let either of them off the hook. If she had no problem disregarding your friendship with the dude she had sex with, why do you think she'd make a good friend? Both low-quality low-value people. Cut off all contact with both. Grow a pair and focus on improving yourself. She isn't worth your time nor is he. Get back at them by becoming the best possible version of yourself and achieve success. May sound harsh but someone needs to say it. Take it how you will. My, 22M, GF, 23F, has been mad at me because of a trip I won't let her take. I'll try to keep this as short as possible but if you feel like I need more context I can add an addendum in the comments. I met my current girlfriend in our freshman year of college. We hit it off almost instantly and became pretty fast friends. After being friends for a while I asked her out and we've been together ever since, coming up on two years in October. Recently however, she and I have been fighting over a proposed trip she intends to go on at the end of this month. She has a friend, who we'll call Paul, because that's his name and I don't care enough to censor it. I was always aware of him since he lives in her dorm and we've hung out a couple of times. But in the Venn diagram of our friend group, he's always been very firmly in the her circle. I've also always believed that he had feelings for her from only knowing him a few months. They've always spent an inordinate amount of time together, even more than most of her other friends, and often more than I get to see her in a week. He's also made occasional inappropriate remarks about her, which I won't get into here. I've brought this up to my girlfriend multiple times but she insists he just sees her as a friend and while I think she's incorrect, I don't think she's being dishonest. I trust that she has absolutely no interest in him that way, and so I'm mostly okay with their friendship. At this point it's honestly kind of a joke between us. Well things between us have soured over Paul in the last week or so. His birthday is coming up soon, and he asked her to go on a trip with him to LA which is on the opposite side of the country from us. She mentioned the plans in a kind of off-handed manner, and when I said I wouldn't be comfortable with that, she and I got into an awful argument about it. As it turns out, he paid for the trip including plane tickets before asking her. And when he asked her she already agreed to go. I asked her not to go and said I'd find it incredibly inappropriate and hurtful, especially since he only booked one room for both of them. She said I was being hurtful to her friend and would really hurt their relationship. She also says that I was being controlling and accused me of not trusting her. There's a lot more details, but I don't really want to go into them in this post. What should I do Reddit? I want her to be able to enjoy the last of her summer break but I'm just not comfortable with this situation. Would it be too unreasonable to ask to go with them? TLDR. My girlfriend and I have been fighting since she said she wants to go across the country with her male friend. It would be a nope for me, and I would just cut ties with her. You guys aren't compatible. My best friend is a woman, and there is no way I'd fly with her across the country and stay in the same hotel room with her. 
That is inappropriate and disrespectful to my wife. It's okay to have boundaries. You can't make her stay, but you don't have to stay with her. Sounds like she downplays a lot of things he does. Paul sounds unsafe. Booking tickets for someone, in their name, before asking them if they're interested in or available for the trip is a pressure tactic. Booking only one room, instead of saying, I've also booked you your own room, is a pressure tactic, and I'm almost certain that any man who does that has pretty obvious intentions. I'll never understand why people think they can, let, or, not let, someone do something. Your girlfriend is a big girl. She can make her own decisions, but the caveat is that you can, too. If she goes, you have every reason in the world to end the relationship. Do you really want to be in a relationship where your partner chooses to disrespect you? Or with someone who isn't willing to put themselves in your shoes? People will only treat you how you allow them. You deserve better. Oh, and, Paul, is an asshat. Your girlfriend is going on an all-expenses-paid trip to a party city with another bloke and will not only share a room with him but also, most likely, the same bed? Fuck. That. No deal. If she goes, she can stay with him. Why not book your GF's best female friend on a weekend away in a party city and invite her to share a room and bed and see what your girlfriend thinks of that?